Well, I think, you know, part MSA. of what's happening, Joe, is I think the market's recognizing there's some monolithic elements to, to Apple, right? So despite the focus on iPhone 10 and the shipment challenges relative to where expectations might have been, this is a company that still grew double digits in all geographies as you look at last quarter. And even as you look forward to the March quarter, despite all of the rancor and concerns over what guidance might look like, it's still a company that's going to grow double digits. And so I think it's easy for investors to kind of focus on the trees instead of the broader forest in this case. But the reality is it's still a company that's growing at a healthy clip, and we expect that to continue as we kind of move through 2018 here. So for the market to, to set new highs, you think Apple's got to get back to 180 or get to 180 and then head higher from that? I mean, I, I would think that they're somewhat correlated, uh, the averages and Apple. Well, sure, it would help. But as we know, the, the tech market now is being driven by a bunch of other monoliths, I guess, uh, you know, so to speak, uh, as well. But look, we think... You know, as you start to move through the March quarter doldrums of sorts, which you see every year, and then you get into the June questions, the focus then will start to return to the next cycle. And we think the next cycle, if you have another couple of different sides, OLED screen devices, you return to focus to services, you know, some of these wearable devices that are growing like a weed right now, that you can start to see some renewed momentum. But you are in kind of a period here where, you know, the shares typically. What is the hot next more. thing on your radar that they're doing? Well, look, I mean, I think the biggest unanswered question has been what can they do to really catapult services? Now, that said, it's already a $30 billion business growing, you know, double digits, but it's never quite enough for investors. When you're talking about a $250 billion revenue base, you need, you need more there. But what can they do on the content front? And what can they really do to own the living room? You know, that's where I think Apple still has some unanswered questions. Would, would invest, if, if there was a mega merger tomorrow, where you saw Apple jump into, let, let's say the AT&T Time Warner deal doesn't happen. For example, they wanted to buy Time Warner, which people talk about. Or they wanted to buy CBS and Viacom together. Or dare I say, they even wanted to buy Disney. Would investors react positively to that and say, wow, this is great, now they have a whole new services arm, effectively? Or would they say, oh my goodness, they're getting into a business that they know nothing about and I am worried that this is going to be a big mistake. Well, that's a good question, Andrew. I, I think investors would applaud them to get into content in a bigger way, but I don't think they need to go out and buy you know, a Disney. That's a transformative deal that really changes the, you know, the nature of the company. And I think one of the things Tim Cook will probably talk about is you know, Apple's laser focus on a few great products. And if you start you know, moving out towards the broader content universe that really starts to diversify them, them but quite a bit. You'd like to see some content, maybe just not something, some additional of, of content, a, but a something smaller. Something that would help jumpstart content. Okay, so what does that look like? Give us an example. But I, don't, I don't think they need to own theme parks. Okay, and right. I don't think they own, need to own broadcast networks. And so is that something that brings in a better production staff, you know, some sort of studio capability, perhaps, right, that would help Miramax? them jumpstart? What are you, what are you talking well, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure where that leads them. Or is it a piece, you know, some of these Weinstein. mergers are the pieces that they can be carved out that might, you know, be a fit for Apple. So, again, mm -hmm. you know, their DNA, of course, is to do smaller tuck-in acquisitions rather than something that's going to be, you know, much larger in scope. Right. But um, it's still an iPhone company. It's an iPhone company, but it's really an ecosystem company. Yeah, but it's, it, 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 the stock keys off of of upgrades and migrating to the next thing. Is, is the next phone going to be a $1,000 phone? Is it going to be better than the iPhone 10? I mean, what's, they have to well, constantly be, do. Right? They've got well, to I know, but what's it, what's it going to do? Well, look, I, I think when you go back to the iPhone 6 cycle, one of the big drivers of that, of course, is just having that bigger screen, right? So as you right. continue to you know, innovate on that front, yeah, that helps. This? So this, this is the 10, right? Or the X, I'm sorry. <laughs> do you think it goes bigger? I, th I, think year, have, I think they'll have, have a bigger. I think they'll, they'll have, a, have a couple of variants. Yes, I think they'll have a couple of variants, and, that, and that'll you know drive some demand too. It's fun. I mean, when I walk into Apple stores, you still have you know some uh, customers that want to buy you know the, the eight plus just because it, they think it's a bigger screen. But the reality is, in terms of surface area, it's basically the same. Right. right. Uh, so I, I do think there's there's something to that. So it'll um, hit a trillion. When? Ha. And do they Wait. keep buying back stock, and that prevents it, or what? Well, I'm worried about it getting to, you know, back, back to the to 170 to 180 and, you know, yeah. 190 first, and then we'll, you know, address that when we get there. But certainly I think it can approach that. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.